Alrighty guys, welcome back to another single player episode. Uh, I can't even remember what the hell I was doing last time I played. That was like a week or longer ago. I think we were just going to process this. Uh, there was still a couple of uh, trees down below I was going to bring up, maybe do some more processing there. Um, but there is a new map, so maybe what I'm going to do um, over the next episode or this episode or the next couple is I'm going to finish up what we got here, bring this all down to the mill, and then maybe I'll move on to the new map just to try something different. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen this yet or not. This is the new Duramax. So this is a basic clone of my real life truck that I have. I tried to make it as close as humanly possible, but uh, you know, you have some restrictions. But yeah, it's basically the same model. Uh, big old Duramax. Uh, it's set up. It's actually pretty nice interior. Looks pretty good. Um, it's got the big old mudding tires on it. You can really give her. It's also got a uh, fuel tank on the back, so this is basically my new fuel truck. Uh, there is another fuel truck, but uh, we haven't quite uh, got that one down pat just yet. So this may or may not be out by the time you uh, see this video. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see when we get there. I don't know when this video is coming out, and I don't know when that uh, truck's coming out just yet. So, uh, yeah, so maybe we'll just uh, hop in the processor here and start uh, jimmying these trees away. So, let's make a little bit of a gap here because I notice we're a little close. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's been a, a busy few weeks here. I've been. Uh, Working pretty hard on these mods. Uh, like I said, uh, since the last time I made a single player video, I've uh, made a lot of changes on these machines. Um, they're uh, not a lot of changes, just a lot of cleanup, a lot of uh, fixes and changes, and just ma overall making things better, basically. Uh, what length are these? I think they're 500. I can't remember what the buck saw does. I think the buck saw does 500s. They're pretty close to 500. Might not be right on. That looks pretty darn close to me. Yeah. I think I can get three out of these. Ooh, it's a pretty close three, though. Whatever, we'll throw it on there, see what happens. Yeah. So, yeah, FDR logging has, uh, well, probably by the time you see this video, it will have be, been like a month or longer. is because I'm sick of people. <laughs> That's probably the main reason. Oh, there's a few reasons. Uh, so, I'd say the number one reason is people complaining that I'm getting absolutely sick of. Oh, jeez. The frame rate just dropped down quite a bit there, too. Oh, thank you. Oh, there we go. Oh, still kind of shitty. No way. Frame rate died. That just kind of kicked in all of a sudden, like... I wonder if it's because it's connecting with that pile? Nope. Weird. Anyway, besides the point. Um, yeah, so I did it for a few reasons. Um, I uh, was getting kind of tired of people uh, whining about the mods. So you got the Patreons, who a lot of you are the people who actually watch this video. The Patreons are the people who actually, you know, donate money monthly. They support, they help buy new models. They give very valuable feedback about the mods to help them grow and get better. These are the people that I actually listen to because it's actually good feedback. Uh, in the past, I don't know why. I mean, it's been years, obviously, you get bad feedback from people. It's not even feedback about the mods. It's just people spamming, you know, I want to get a completely golden... Uh, wheel loader, or I want to completely, you know, like just dumb shit, like stupid, stupid stuff that people want. And I'm like, well, then you have to learn to mod and just figure it out and do it yourself, because I'm not, I'm not doing it. And then on Facebook, what was going on? And I don't know if it's like another group that's doing this, or if it's like a group of people. But basically, what happened is, uh, in a week, I would suddenly get like ten reviews on the Facebook page. 
and they were all like negative but not negative in a way like oh your mods are terrible negative for like stupid things oh like these aren't on your loader your wheel loader isn't on uh on console so zero out of you know five stars just dumb shit like that and i don't i don't honestly really care it's just every day you look at that and you're like why do i even tailor to to this crowd like what's the point it feels like such a waste of time so Another reason I got rid of Facebook, the main reason was Facebook was kind of leading people to Facebook when really I wanted them, A, to either go to YouTube, I wanted them to go to Patreon, or I wanted them to go to um, the FDRlogging.com. Those were the places I wanted everybody to go because that's where the content was, right? But um, yeah, no, Facebook became just its own little habitat for a community and I noticed I wasn't getting very good impressions, not in very good uh, feedback. You know, people weren't clicking where I wanted them to go. They just stayed on Facebook and they sat there and a lot of them just sat there and bitched and complained and trolled and um, yeah, I don't know. I just wasn't finding it a useful tool anymore for FDR logging. So I said, if this is becoming such a hassle, I'm like, why are we even using this anymore? Let's. Let's just get rid of it. I mean, sure, everybody's like, oh, you can't get rid of it. It's got like 10,000 fans or whatever the hell. And I'm like, yeah, but it's 10,000 likes. Like, who gives a shit? What is a like anyway? Like, you know, what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything to me. I don't care. Like, YouTube subscriber count, likes, I I honestly could give a shit less what the numbers are. Like, so many people are obsessed with the numbers. But, you know, this is the funny thing. Okay, so I don't know if there was like some fishy stuff going on or what happened but so I got up to like 10,000 likes and I was pretty impressed with that I was pretty happy I was like holy shit I didn't even know I had you know 10,000 people that were interested in FDR logging but you know I would make a post and, I, and I've read this as normal with lots of places but I'd make a post or a picture and the most people I could ever reach, unless it was something really crazy, um, was like maybe 4,000 max. 3,000 people, 4,000 people, which is still a good number of people, but if I have 10,000 people on my page, why is it only reaching 4,000 people? Hmm? Makes me wonder. I don't know. Something weird going on there. I don't like that. So, I don't understand the analytics and all that shit behind uh, Facebook's system and how it works with the likes and blah, blah, blah. And from what I've read in a few different places, it's not the most professional and not the best for trying to get, you know, any kind of accuracy per se. But yeah, I don't know. I used it and tried it. I even paid for ad campaigns and tried, you know, using it. But then I realized everybody's going to Facebook and I don't want them on Facebook. I want them here on YouTube or I want them to go to Patreon or I wanted them to go to the FDR logging website. But even the FDR logging website, like I was getting shit all for hits on that site. Like... You know, and I was paying almost 55 bucks a month, US. So I'm like, this is stupid. I'm like, this is a waste of money doing this. So I said, well, let's first of all, get rid of Facebook. No more Facebook. So people will have the choice. They can either go to, um, they can either go to YouTube or they can go to Patreon. And then originally I was like, oh, I'll keep the FDR logging page. And then I'm like, well, if I'm putting all that content on YouTube and putting all that content on Patreon, then what's the point in having a, a third place to have to do more work, right? So I'm like, well, let's get this $55 charge off our backs and uh, get rid of it. So I did. So now, uh, yeah, I basically said, screw doing this public. Um, if Patreons are the ones keeping everything alive and they're the ones that are supporting and giving feedback, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. It's, uh, that's it. No more public stuff. I'm just, I'm not doing it anymore. Don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. And I understand, like, see, this is the thing that pisses me off, right? I understand the TOS rules. I understand that, you know, you're not supposed to be modding for profit or whatever the hell. And I'm not. Like, that's the best thing about this is I don't make anything personally off of uh, Patreon, like, I don't take the money, it's not my, like, it goes to FDR logging, I'm still paying off FDR logging, <laughs> I have a, I have a book that's literally, like, three books thick of just receipts and shit from buying models and paying people to do art and buying, you know, merchandise, like, 
t-shirts and like that shit ain't cheap people don't realize that or ad campaigns jesus christ when i did those uh facebook ad campaigns like that's like hundreds of dollars every other day you're spending to get you know the likes which i realize is a waste of money now but i thought it would be helpful in the future and maybe it was maybe it wasn't but yeah no i've spent and that wasn't even patreon money before because i was like you know spending my own money and just keeping copies of the receipts so every cent i make right now from patreon i use against that pile of receipts to pay myself back for all the shit i've lost and i think i'm still like almost a grand in the hole right now so i mean what i usually do i take 30 percent off the top of the money that goes to taxes because i actually have to pay tax on this stupid donations which i think is retarded but that's the way canada is so so yeah i take uh 30 off the top that goes to tax at the end of the year to pay for all the money that you're supposed to be getting through patreon so i do that then i take half of whatever's left i put that towards uh you know a model either that month or models that i want to save up for and then I take the other half and I put it against that receipt pile that I'm slowly paying myself off. I figure probably another four months, depending on how many Patreons we get, I should have that pile paid off. Then all the money will basically just go strictly to models. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. But it's not like I'm, you know, driving around in a, you know, brand new Ferrari that I just bought this year because of sweet Patreon, you know, like... I don't know what people think. And I certainly don't make a lot of money off YouTube, you know? <laughs> I make like, I don't know, 29 to $50 every two to three months. Like, yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, I would love it. Hey, if I could make like, you know, half a million dollars uh, off of YouTube, that'd be fucking cool. But I don't have the content for that. I'm not a, you know... I'm not too crazy. I'm not crazy enough. I don't have the top of the morning to you attitude, so I'll probably never make it to that. But I like to create things, and that's kind of where we are right now. And this pile is getting humongous. I am not going to lie. I haven't made a processor pile this tall in a very long time. It's actually starting to uh, cause frame rate drops, which is fine because this looks cool. I think once we get it cleared up, though, it'll look a lot better. But yeah, anyway, so, yeah, I mean, I realize uh, selling mods themselves is against the rules, which is kind of what's going on, I guess, because I'm limiting access to people who pay. So, I mean, I guess that's like selling mods. Technically, I would like to think of it as you guys are paying for me to work my ass off all the time to make mods. That's what way I would like to look at it. You're paying me for the work. It's not like I'm changing the paint job on it every 10 minutes and releasing it and saying oh that's a brand new mod it's not like i've gone and just taken all the giants machinery and you know like i said put a new mirror on it and then called it my own and started selling it like these are all brand new models from people that i have hired most of the time um to build them so you know i don't know if they really want to come give me a cease and desist order for making great content then i guess i'll stop but you know i went on patreon and i searched farming simulator and there are hundreds of people that are doing exactly what i'm doing you know with farming equipment or with uh you know whatever the hell farming simulator stuff they're making their own mods and they're selling them they're keeping them all private until somebody until they, you know you join up as a patreon so I'd like to think of Patreon instead of like a store, I'd like to think of it as more of a support group because I don't know, I'm not exactly selling stuff. I'm not saying, you know, like it's $4.99 if you want to buy the Hitachi and then it's $6 add to your cart, you know, I'm just like, here's all my work that I've done. Uh, you know, if you want to support, come get it. And you know, 90% of the time, I bet you most of this stuff's gonna get stolen off Patreon and put into fucking those stupid mod sites anyway. Hey, and you guys wanna talk about um, people ripping off giants. I mean, like, look at those mod sites. That's, that's where the real ridiculous is happening. Sorry, I have to cheat 
the time here because it's getting too dark. So let's change the time. Oh, amazing, it's morning, look at that, woo! That was a quick day, wasn't it? Look at this pile. And those ones are really white in comparison to the rest of these, hey? Oh, that's kind of strange. What's going on there, I wonder? Huh, all right, well, whatever. Um, Just a sec here, what time we got here? We, oh, 15 minutes, so we still got another 15 minutes, right? Awesome, I'm crazy. No, we're good. All right, I'm gonna get this processor out of the way. But yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, there's all these people doing it and they've been doing it, like, there's a guy on there that's been doing it since Patreon started with like Farming Simulator 2015 mods. And he's still going and people are still paying him like, you know, $180 a month, every month to make 2015 farming mods, like, <laughs> And I don't see giants coming down on them and being all, cancel your services and... I don't know, it's stupid. I'm just saying, if giants does give a shit, they would have dealt with it by now, or they have a lot of people they're gonna have to sue. But no, if they come at me and say, hey, you know, cease and desist, we don't want you doing this anymore, then I will stop, because I'm not gonna have a fucking legal battle with somebody, but... I have a feeling they don't really care that much because they got enough shit to worry about. I'm trying to find a place to set up here. That'd be close enough. Just give me some rough loading. I think I'm just gonna turn around and back in. But yeah, so as far as that goes, Patreon only. Most of the people who actually, uh, give a shit anyway or Patreons, so. And honestly, those are the only people I really care about even doing anything for anymore. I'm more than happy to uh, lend some support. But hey, you know what? If you're seriously somebody who wants to do this and like play with the mods and you, you just honestly cannot afford them and your life is horrible and you know, whatever, shoot me an email fdreviews at gmail or f yeah fd fd jesus christ what's my email fdreviews at gmail.com i've never actually said it i always type it that's why i was confused shoot me an email shoot me a very convincing email about why you can't pay a dollar a month to have access to mods and i will give you a link to it because I really don't care. I don't want people's money. I don't even care. You know what? All the money is just to buy more models. Because if honestly, if you guys weren't supporting me with money, I would not build models anymore. I wouldn't do any of this. I would be like, all right, FDR logging is done. Because I don't want to spend, I don't have the money to spend on uh, all this extra shit. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't need people's money because it doesn't actually affect me personally it just all goes into this so oh boy so yeah if you want to do patreon you want to support you want the mods do it if you don't don't it's funny because i just the other night had this argument in front of everybody on a live stream with some with two people same day two people complaining about the mods not being free and how it's against the rules and Giants is gonna get you, blah, 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 blah. And I said, that's fine. I'm like, if Giants comes and wants me to stop, that's fine. They can come tell me and I will stop, like, gladly. But I know they probably never will because there's hundreds of people out there who are doing that right now and uh, they, they aren't stopping and nobody's told them to. <laughs> Maybe because I'm FDR logging and I'm so big and so important, maybe they will come to me directly and be like, hey man, listen, we've been watching you and we want you to stop. I'd actually, I'd feel pretty cool if they did that. I would feel like they actually know who I was. Maybe that's my goal, for Giants to email me and ask me something personally. Like off their own time, Giants contacts me, Jordan, here in the middle of nowhere, in the northernest bits of Canada, and they say, Jordan, listen, we've been watching you, and we want you to stop doing what you're doing. That's my goal. Like, I'm done. Farming Simulator's over for me. I'd be like, I made a difference. I made a giant company that builds video games notice me. Oh, God, my life. 
See, that's my only goal now. Maybe that's all I need to do and then I'll be complete. But seriously, don't think they're gonna give a crap. So yeah, anyway, I had this argument on YouTube with these guys. Two different guys, separate occasions. Actually, I've had this argument hundreds of times with other people too, but more recently now, because it's Patreon only, I get more of these arguments. And it's like, I don't know what you, what people want from me. I don't, I don't get it. Like, what do you, what do you want? You want free stuff? Well, you can't have it anymore. It's just, it's not available. I don't want to make it free anymore. You know, like, <laughs> how else can I put it to you? It's not available anymore. I think I explained the analogy as uh, a car dealer one time too. That was actually kind of funny. You go to a car dealer and protest because shit ain't free anymore. Right? Will the car dealer give you stuff for free? Probably not. Car dealer would look at you and go like, well, uh, did you build the car? No. Did, was the car your idea? No. Did you help build the car physically? No. Well, then you're gonna have to pay for it. I think that's a pretty good general rule for any kind of merchandise, right? Oh, well. I knew when I did the Patreon only thing, uh, I'd get some backlash because it's been free for so long that I knew people would just kind of rage freak, but at the same time, I was also so fed up, I just didn't care what people thought. And honestly, I still don't really care what people think. But it's fun to, uh, it's fun to listen to the reasoning of people. Because you know what's really funny, though? Since I have done the Patreon, like 90% of the complaints have gone away. Like, they're just, they're just not there anymore. Those people just are gone because I don't see their stuff anymore. By putting that dollar, even one dollar paywall just to stop them has been so nice. Because now only the real people who give a crap don't care. It's only a dollar. They're getting content that they love. It's great. They give feedback. It's still the great awesome people. The people who are just trolling, probably people who honestly didn't even use the fucking mods. They just wanted to bitch on the page for fun. Um, they're gone. They're just, they don't want to pay for it. They're moving on to easier targets, maybe. I don't know. So I'm not asking myself every day, why didn't I do this shit sooner? Maybe I would have, uh, saved some mental fucking relief off my life for some time. But yeah. Anyway, so they're, uh, Patreon only now, and I'm, uh, I've never been happier. And I think I'm gonna keep it that way. I've never done, I've never done private mods before. I think I tried it a long time ago, a couple years ago, just to test it out and I didn't like it because I was like, oh, I should be public because I'm not a very big modding group, so nobody really cares. And I'm still not that big of a modding group. I'm just a little, I'm still a little guy in the, in the fish pool pond of things, but, uh, I don't know. I just want to do this and have fun. I don't make money off of it. I don't I don't get anything out of it really. What I get out of it that I really like is just being able to create something that I never thought I could make. Like like this stuff, well like where we are now, I would have never in my wildest dreams thought I would be able to do this stuff. I mean, look back at the old stuff like as soon as I made this thing, actually, it was funny because the very first mod that I ever made was the, uh, that black, it was called the LeBaron. You can probably still find it on mod sites if you go look for it. But it was called the Black LeBaron, and it was this giant monstrosity that I half-assed made. One thing I really liked about it was the grapple system was, like, the best out of even Giant's machinery. It was better than that. And that's kind of where I started getting my reputation was because I built grapples that were, like, magnificent in comparison. But the machine itself was a grotesque monstrosity that uh, even to this day I look back and I think it should be burned, but... Oops. Um, yeah, I mean, we had to start somewhere. Oh, hey, we got a little bit of trailer shake. Oh, that's interesting. Here, I'm going to save my game like right here because if this load explodes, plus I might actually come back and look at this to see why the trailer's shaking. Huh. That is interesting. I thought I got rid of all the trailer shake. Well, that's good because uh, version 10 of the mods is uh, getting worked out right now, so. I think it's the weight of the trailer 
trailer's either too heavy or too light. Anyway, besides the point. But yeah, anyway, that uh, that old thing I made was that big black LeBear thing, and it was a horrible monstrosity. And uh, yeah, I look back to that and I go, holy shit, we've come a long way since then. Like a long way. Long way is actually putting it lightly. We've we've literally traveled light years and centuries ahead of what we were before. I think I'm just gonna pack this. I'm gonna let this video run a little bit longer because I think I'm gonna call this the last video for, oops, for this map, just for now. I mean, I'm sure we'll revisit it in the future, but for now, I think this is gonna be the last one. We'll leave a little bit of wood up here, no big deal. Because I kind of want to get onto that new map. It's all super flat and nice, and it's not as glitchy, which is also nice. Here, let's uh, let's just save real quick before this thing explodes. See, it's got a little bit of rattle to it, hey? That's kind of weird. Huh. Looks funky though. Whoops, as I drive off the edge. See that? That's not good, that shake. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. All right. Perfect. This is how we're going to get this wood to the mill. We're just going to fly it to the mill. Oh, that's so interesting. Huh. Remember how I said, like, a few moments ago how far we've come since that monstrosity? Well, maybe maybe we haven't come really that far yet, but we're definitely getting somewhere, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, look at that. Cool. Oh, you took the truck out. Well, this is a, this is a good video, I think, to end the... Uh, wow, that's amazing. It's doing some stuff that's just not even strategically possible. Uh, let's see if we can undo one of... Oh, no. As soon as you get close, it's like, can't touch this. Dun, 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 dun. Um, yeah, this is a good video to end the uh, map on. Because clearly there's some stuff me and this trailer got to work out. And I'm glad I saved up there because I can use this as my uh, kind of testing platform here. Man, that's neat. Anyway, uh, so yeah. I'm glad uh, you guys could keep up with all the goodness here. Uh, sorry for you to listen to my whole rant for the video, but as a lot of you guys know and have been following for a long time, it gets pretty frustrating when you're all you're trying to do as an artist is to build shit, and then, yeah, I don't know, money always complicates things. But unfortunately, if there's no money, uh, there's no models. That's kind of how it goes. Uh, this truck wouldn't be here. This thing wouldn't be here. That was purchased. That wouldn't be here. That was purchased. That wouldn't be here. It was purchased. I'm trying to think of anything that wasn't purchased. Like even looking through here, is there, oops, uh, let's go to the store. Let's see, anything here. So that was uh, purchased. This was purchased. That was purchased, purchased. Uh, that was actually handmade. Okay, I. you know what, I, this is fun. We got, we still got time in this video. I'll tell you how much this shit costs. I'll give you an idea of how much all this costs. So, I had uh, the I think there's only, is there any that I didn't actually have built? The only one I didn't have built that I purchased was this one. Uh, the Feller Buncher. I think that's it. I think everything else was uh, built by order. Yeah. So, oh, and the Chevy, obviously. That's a, a purchase. Oh, the, well, these three trucks, are actually. But anyway, so... These were um, actually like built from me giving specifications on machinery and hiring a person to to do the work. So this one was five hundred and sixty six dollars American. I always say American because it's a shit ton more than Canadian. If you're in Canada, you understand when I say American, it's like lots of money. So that was five hundred and yeah, six, I think it was sixty eight or something like that American. These ones weren't too bad. Polygon made these too. Uh, I think I paid 85 for this one, and then they upped it a little bit on this one. It was like 112 US. So it's not too, too bad. Uh, that was too... Fuck. It, you know, it pissed me off because it was 275 when I bought it, and then I went... I think I got it from 
where did I get it from Turbo or something? Anyway, but when I went back, it was on sale for ninety nine bucks, and I was like, ah, oh, you bastards! But yeah, two seventy five originally. Uh, this thing was a hand built. It's also the same body that's on the eight fifty nine dangle loader, wherever the hell that is. Dangle loader processor, dangle processor. Oh, where is the dangle processor? Well, I'm gonna have to look into that. It's not loading in for some reason. Anyway, but yeah, the dangle processor shared the same body as that one. So, um, but yeah, John, who was a previous uh, member of uh, FDR logging, good friend, he paid, oh frick, I can't remember, like 400, it was like 400 bucks or something US, I think, for it. And then, uh, yeah, we've been using the model ever since. Uh, this one, that was 85 from Polygon. That was a hundred and I think this was the last one I got made because they kept upping the price. This one was like 145 to get it built. I think the thing that pissed me off the most was I'd hired them to build it. So I pay like 185 bucks or whatever it was to buy it. And then they'd release it on their page like five minutes later. Uh, and they'd sell it for like 30 bucks or even less, like 15 bucks. And I'm like, oh, you bitches. Because then what would happen is rival logging groups would go before I even get this. So what would happen is they'd send me the model the night before after I bought it, purchased it, um, you know, got it built. I'd talk to them for a couple of weeks and then they'd send me the model saying it's completed. I'd pay them, look it over, pay them, and then it'd be mine, right? So I'm still working on this thing and then people would go on their site and buy it for like a quarter of the, no, like one tenth of the price I paid and then release it instantly. And then, oh man, that's such a debacle. Anyway, so I stopped doing polygonish because of that reason. Kind of drove me nuts. <laughs> but yeah, that one was uh, one eighty five. This one was built by a lady in Russia who is my modeler for several of these things. Uh, I paid her. I think it was like hundred and hundred and sixty a model or something like that. So it was like one hundred and sixty for that one. One hundred and sixty for that one. Uh, that's the same body as the polygon one. Uh, I paid her one hundred and forty for this one. Uh, this one, I can't remember what the hell this was. This has changed so many times. I think it was 120 when we started. Uh, this body was 95 to get it built. That was Polygon again. Uh, this one was, Christ, two, what was it? Two, six, no. I can't remember which body this is. This might have been, this was either like super cheap. It was either like 50 bucks or it was the one that was 120. Anyway, besides the point. All three of those share the same body as you can see in the pictures. Uh, this guy wasn't too expensive. I think it was 35 bucks. Chainsaw, that was nothing. That was nothing. Uh, trailer, that was 78 bucks. Uh, it was a little bit different looking when we started. Uh, that's a Giants thing. Uh, this guy was uh, 133. This one was uh, 176 or something. It was pretty expensive, these trucks. Uh, this one was a little bit cheaper, 98, and then that's just nothing I'm working on. But yeah, you know what? All that adds up. Like, and there's ones in the past. There's still models that I have out there uh, that were discontinued that I'm probably gonna bring back just because it's money sitting there that I want to uh, use again for something else. But uh, yeah, for the time being, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it for that stuff. But it all adds up, you know. Like it's a couple thousand dollars here, a couple thousand dollars there, and. And you get server costs on top of it and advertising and t-shirts and blah 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 and all the stuff I got for FDR logging. Yeah, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And then, yeah. One day maybe I can keep some. But I don't think it'll ever happen because I gotta keep moving things forward. You gotta feed the beast in order to keep it alive, so I can't really take from it. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna abandon this map. But you guys got to see a little bit of portion of the uphill logging. Uh, we didn't use our uh, yarder like we were going to, but that's uh, something we can definitely do in the future. Uh, we didn't use the yarder. All we did was just kind of drag this shit up the hill. But I might leave this map open as a save game, just pending for the future, or I might start it over again. But uh, after this video, you're going to see a new map, which is a very flat map. Uh, so it's a lot easier to go around. The trees don't glitch out as much. It'll be a very high production map with lots of trees. So should be a good time. But anyway, uh, enough of my ranting for the day. I guess we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.